this it's identical to the chart that you had in the pound dollar but with one minor difference one minor difference it's not minor but it's one of the telltales of the chart now the major trend in the euro aussie is all the way to the downside absolutely i mean it's it's basically a bear market okay and this last piece that i want you to see here this here that is a minor structure right there and that is the 101.3131.14 and if you look here yeah sure man. if you look here we have broken below this structure point this means this thing should capitulate this means that the euro should capitulate to the downside if it's true break below a structure point if it's not a head fake if it's not a head fake so based upon what we see right now guys our first sell signal against the aussie would be if the euro comes above 131.12 this thing broke a structure point and it didn't go 20 pips So this means what? This means that if, if it comes back above the 131.12, we are going to buy the Euro Aussie, and we can expect this thing to go higher. If it doesn't, well, it should break the structure point and should take me down to the 129.29. But you're more cautious on this side. On the, um, it looks like it wants to turn around to the upside. So with that, our easy selling point is when it takes out these lows which it should if it, that would be 130 okay that's my selling point below this low my buying point my structure is 131.14 well right there so if it gets above the 131 12 which is my my structure I'm going to buy it so my buying point is 131 12 and it is also my structure long point okay and if I buy it above 131 12 I want it to stay above 131.12 so you're gonna give it I mean maybe like 10 15 pips you just want to give it some room for it to work because these things take a little bit time and on the long side if we're looking at a structure point to the upside that's the closest one over here is the 138 it's not precise but I'm putting it right there that's my structure long point and if I said if I'm going to go short below the 131.12 yeah my long 131.12 my short I'm going to go short below one th I use the same one 131.12 as my stop on either side or either a buy or a sell okay so I'm buying if it gets above 131.12 I'm buying it and I'm using my stop right there I'm just gonna give it a little bit of room and I'm looking for it to go and push higher the next structure point is 138 700 pips away and on the short side 
I'm going to go short below the 137.05, which is the low of the day, and my structure short point is the 129.29. And if I go short here, I'm going to use the same structure point at the at the uh, the 131.12. What structure point? The 138 at all? The structure long point is 131.12. Yeah, because it's right there. I mean, this is this is this is the only place. There is no other place right there. It's right there. There's nothing. I mean, if I close this chart, hold on. Let me get it for you. This is just a very tight range. Okay? It's a very tight range. So if I say a structure, I want a trend changing move, not a significant point. I want a, a structure point, and that's the only one that's even there. When it bounces from the one, this is what happens at all. When it bounces from this, it goes to this. When it bounces from this, it goes to this which is pretty much in the same range. So if it bounces from here, it should go here. Okay? All right. That is the Euro Aussie. So let's save that. 